All right, this is a monumental video, a good video. What we have is we finally have the AC compressor and condenser that we're gonna put inside the bus. So it's the mini split system that we bought, but it's a ducted mini split. So what we need to build in this video is the plenum for the air that's gonna come out and then the plenum for the air intake that's gonna suck all the air into the AC unit itself. But before we put the AC unit in the roof here, I wanna flip it so that the air intake is underneath and not on the back. Flipping it from this is the back side to underneath. All right, so the unit is finally mounted. It's mounted up there, not going anywhere. Now the next thing we need to do is build the plenum that's gonna go from here, probably about halfway, and then that's where all of the ductwork is gonna come off of. So the first thing with building the plenum, we can make it out of cardboard. Um, we're gonna probably angle it up, angle this up, and then angle it outward on both sides so that we can fit four four inch tubing along the front and then one on the side, one on the side, and then two underneath that are gonna come out for the bedroom itself. This will be the plenum, so three inches and then it meets the top of this bar and then that'll go straight across for six inches and then the front is five and a half and the bottom of this lines up perfectly with the bottom of this, which will be the ceiling and we'll have two four inch openings there for the bedroom and then it goes back down. So I just have to map out the sides and then we can kind of cut it out of the sheet metal. All right, so that was a template and this is the plenum that I made using the break outside and we need to fit it up there. Okay, it's a new day, and last night I made the kind of structure of the plenum. I just have to make the two sides. I did make one side, so that'll go up there against there and get screwed in, and then I just gotta do one for the other side. So this is the break that I was talking about before that I created the plenum by bending the metal. So what you do is you slide the metal in, line it up, clamp the back end down, and then you just kind of pull up the front and it bends the metal. All right, so we have the AC unit and then this is the plenum that you saw on the inside. And I have these two side pieces that we're gonna actually finally attach. So they'll go on here, this one, and then we'll do the other side, we'll screw them in. And then we can drill the holes on the sides and then in the front for all the ductwork. So I'm doing four up top here and I have this just paint can and it's four inches wide so I'm gonna do these side pieces first or these ones on the end of here um, so that I can start to cut those and then I'll move my way in those will be the six holes one it's four and then that one so that's one in, and then we'll screw it down on these pegs, and then, uh, yeah, we'll start cutting the other ones. I'm gonna take this one out just so it's easier to cut the rest of these. All right, so I got all of the six four inch holes cut out, and then the next thing is putting all of these into the openings, and then securing them down with some screws. So now that all of them are in and secure, I'm gonna do some sealant from the inside, but on the outside all here, I'm gonna use uh, some reflective tape that's made for the ductwork. All right, although it doesn't look the prettiest, it is complete. 
and put together and taped up. So the next thing we need to do is put it on to the AC unit. Put it the right way. So now that I slid it on, I needed to screw it down. And then after I screwed it down, I did add some more of the reflective tape to make sure there was no gaps around that one edge. So here is me putting it back up in the bus. This is hopefully for the last time that we're putting it back up and mounting it because the thing is getting quite heavy after a few attempts at putting it up. It's not going anywhere. That's secured in there, as you can see. And then I taped around the edge here. Now I actually have to build this back wall before I can kind of do anything else. So here's the back wall. I built it rather quickly out of two by threes and I did leave some openings on the sides here so that we can access it from the back as a garage. And you can see I left some open spaces up top. I need to frame around there to make some cabinets. And then right here in the center, this is where the air intake plenum is going to be. So I'm just cutting it out of the extra sheet metal that I do have. This is the long piece that I'm gonna fold up into the plenum. Here I am, I'm using the brake again, and I'm just breaking it to the size that I need it. I believe it was 24 by six inches, and then the opening at the end, I made it so that I could use a 12 inch by 24 inch filter. After it was all done and made and taped up, I was able to slide it into place and secure it into the wall and then into the actual AC unit itself. That is it all sealed up. And you can see in between there, that's sealed up right here. I can't really seal it because this piece is the piece that comes off for the electrical. So once I hook up the electrical, I can put this piece back on and then fully seal this. So that's the final product for this. We have the, uh, the intake here, take in the air, go through the AC unit, and then blow it out. There's these four openings here, four four inch, one four inch on that side, one four inch on that side, and then underneath, I'm not sure if it's gonna be one six inch or two four inch that will deplete into the bedroom back here. That whole project is done. Next week we're gonna actually run the duct work and we're gonna hook up the outside condenser and actually test this whole AC and heat system inside the bus to make sure everything works before we start putting the walls up, cabinets, and everything else. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.